Over at Eastbourne, it's a similar story. That's because this is where Marla first picked up the oval ball. The club has been doing some serious stocking up and moved its fixture to tonight so everyone can watch the final. It's going to be manic. Yes, it's the, it's, the, it's the biggest game, rugby-wise, that there is. And, and England are in the final. I mean, it doesn't get any bigger than that for a rugby club. And especially when that club helped nurture a potential World Cup winning player. Well, here there were cheers when they saw their club on the television and boos when they saw Hayward's team. But here's the coach who spotted Joe's talent. How good was he as a nine-year-old? Oh, he was good. I mean, at that stage, obviously, you can't really tell. He's been the future international, but he was good. He was good on the pitch, playing the rugby the way it should be, going into the tackles very ruggedly, and he, he was a talent for the future, definitely. Now, Will, I know you've been texting him, but you're a South African. Who do you want to win tomorrow? It's sort of divided, to be honest with you, because of my link with him, obviously. Yes, I, I do sort of look at England and think, yeah, can they pull it through? And I'm sure if they played against how they played against the All Blacks, South Africa's got something to fear. Now, Fraser, you're the club chairman.